Hello everyone. Have a good day. I hope that you are in a good condition. Now, I am gonna present my teaching. We have meeting 12. We are going to talk about how to operate computer application. In my during class, has improved your speaking and writing. Last meeting, my during learning class has helped you to remember English vocabulary for improving your English. Today, in this video for during class English learning, I would like to talk about the topic how to operate computer application. Have you already for learning English today? Wow! As usually, before I start to tell about the material, firstly, I would like to tell the goals of learning. And I hope that you are already with yourself for following my daring class for English learning on time. Okay? The goals of learning as competence indicators or skills. The students are expected to be able to number one tell the expressions to operate computer application. Number two explain the steps to operate an application. Number three do communicative activities. Number four, apply the material by spoken form. Well, okay, my, my students, uh, for meeting 12, we have the topic is about how to operate computer applications. Okay, once more, I would like to remember to you, in my during class, has improved your speaking and writing. Uh -huh. Last meeting, my during learning class has helped you to remember English vocabulary for improving your English. Yeah. So, let us practice English. Let us practice for speaking English. Let thanks that English is so fun. Today, in this video for during class English learning, I would like to talk about the topic how to operate computer application. Yeah, have you already for learning English today? Well, firstly, I would like to explain the goals of learning as competence indicators or skills. Okay, everyone, there are four goals of learning. What are they? Okay, they are the first one, the students are expected to be able to tell the expressions for operate computer application. The second one, the students are expected to be able to explain the steps to operate an application. The third goal of learning that the students are expected to be able to do communicative activities. And the last goal of learning that the students are expected to be able to apply the material by spoken form. Okay, are you with me? I will continue for the next slide. Point A, the definition of application. Well, an application generally refers to any type of executable code that can be launched in a computer system. Well, an application generally refers to any type of executable code that can be launched in a computer system. It is designed 
to implement and complete specific functions that there are required by the user. The other one can be sold commercially either online or in computer stores by software companies like Microsoft, Adapt, and others, according Julian 2015 on page 59. Yeah. Well, in the first slide, point A, the definition of application. An application generally refers to any type of executable code that can be launched in a computer system. And it is designed to implement and complete specific functions that are required by the user. The other one can be sold commercially either online or in computer stores by software companies like Microsoft, Adapt, and others, according to Julian 2015 on page 59. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this one is about the definition of application. <coughs> I will continue next slide. Okay. Point B, the expressions to operate computer application. Okay, there are some example expressions to operate computer application. Okay, the expressions are, you may use for the expressions freshly, or the first and then next example expressions you may use the expression second the next furthermore and then after that finally okay there are some examples expressions to operate computer applications okay what are the examples here are the examples. You may use the expressions for the word firstly or the first. Okay. You may also use for the expressions second, the next, furthermore, and then after that, finally. Okay, here are the examples expressions to operate computer application. Yeah, there are firstly, the first, second, the next, furthermore, and then after that, finally. Okay, are you with me? I will continue for the next slide. Point C, the steps to operate an application. Okay. In this slide, I would like guide you to give examples the steps how to operate an application. Okay. Here are the example the steps how to save the data on computer okay once more i will repeat here are the example of steps how to save the data on computer okay the steps how to save the data on computer okay what are the steps the steps are the first yeah. Okay, the first is the example of expressions, how to operate application. Yeah, okay, the first most important step is to type the text in your computer. Well, the steps how to save the data on computer. What are the steps? The steps are the first most important step is to type the text in your computer. When you have finished, 
The next, press at your keyboard for button control S. Furthermore, make sure that there are table for set S. You can choose one of the commands library which one do you want as the place for saving your file. After that, don't forget to change file name as the name of your text. Finally, after the steps procedure has been complete, you may click for the word save. Okay. Here are the example the steps how to save the data on computer. Well, based on some steps how to save the data on computer, could you tell me which one is called as the example expressions for operate computer application? Okay, who who can mention it? Who can find out it? Yes. The example expressions for operate computer application. Okay. The first. Good. What next? Okay, the next. Okay. And then, what else? Okay, furthermore. Good. The next example expressions after that. And then the last example of expressions, finally. So, how many example expressions are there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there are five example expressions for operate computer applications as the example, the steps, how to save the data on computer. Well, everybody, I would like to read once more for the example, the steps, how to save the data on computer. The first, most important step is to type the text in your computer. When you have finished, the next press at your keyboard for button control S. Furthermore, make sure that there are table for save as. You can choose one of the commands library, which one do you want as the place for saving your file. After that, don't forget to change file name as the name of your text. Finally, after the steps procedure has been complete, you may click for the word save. Yeah. Okay. Next, point D, communicative activities. Okay. In communicative activities, every student have to practice their English and apply the materials that they had in written and spoken poems by using English computer vocabularies correctly. Therefore, you can choose the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your English. Well, in this slide, exactly point D, communicative activities, there are some topics I have prepared for you. Yeah, okay, I have prepared some topics for you. There are three topics that I have prepared for you. Number one, the topic is about the steps how to change the desktop background on your computer. Okay. Number one, the topic is about the steps how to change the desktop background on your computer. Number two, the topic is about the steps how to upload the photos at your Facebook. Okay. Number two, the topic is about the steps how to upload the photos at your Facebook. Number three, the topic is about the steps how 
to save the data in flash disk. Okay. Number three, the topic is about the steps how to save the data in flash disk. Well, in this meeting, yeah, okay, this is your project. As your communicative activities, you may choose one of the topics, yeah, or you may free, yeah, or you may choose as free topics, yeah, based on your choice, yeah, okay, the instructions, all students have to practice their English and apply the materials that they had in written and spoken poems by using English computer vocabularies correctly. Okay, every student have to prepare by yourself to practice your English by making an English video. Yeah, to apply the materials that do that you had in written and spoken poems. Okay, by using English computer vocabularies correctly. Therefore, you can choose the topics or you can choose free for the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your English. Yeah. Okay. Submit your project on time, please. And your project will be collected for the next week via Google Classroom. Yeah. Okay. I will repeat once more so that it's more clear. Yeah. In this slide, it is your project. Exactly for point G as your communicative activities okay i have given some topics i have prepared for some topics for your communicative activities number one the topic is about the steps how to change the desktop background on your computer number two i have the topics that's about the steps how to upload the photos at your facebook and then number three i have prepared for the topics the steps how to save the data in flash disk yeah but as the instructions okay, all students have to practice their english and apply the materials that they had in written and spoken forms by using English computer vocabularies correctly. Therefore, you can choose the topic or you can choose free the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your English. It means that for your project, every student have already with yourself to practice your English by making an English video to apply the materials that you had in spoken poems. Yeah. By using English computer vocabularies correctly. Uh, therefore, you can choose the topic or you can choose free the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your English. Okay. Are you with me? Are you with me? Okay. I will repeat once more. Yeah. For this slide, this is your project. Exactly for point D, your communicative activities. Okay. I have some topics. Topic number one, that's about the steps how to change the desktop background on your computer. And then topic number two, I have the topics about the steps 
how to upload the photos at your Facebook. And then topic number three, the steps how to save the data in flash disk. It means that all students have to practice their English and apply the materials that you had in written and spoken poems by using English computer vocabularies correctly. Therefore, you can choose the topic or you can choose free the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your speaking skill. It means that every student have to prepare by yourself, have to ready, have, have been ready with yourself uh, to practice your English by making an English video to apply the materials that you had in spoken forms by using English computer vocabularies correctly. Therefore, you can choose the topic or you can choose free the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your English. Okay, I will continue the next slide. Okay, speaking skill. Well, for speaking skill, there is the instructions. Please, you are ready with yourself to make a video for practicing the steps how to operate an application with good intonation, good pronunciation, and don't forget to say your name first. You may choose free for the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your English. Finally, you have to collect your project via Google Classroom. Practice your speaking to do an English communicative for this activity. Number one, you may decide where will you go to find the place. Number two, you may record to practice your speaking. Then, collect your assignment for the next meeting. And then number three, you may do it by working from home for starting to practice your speaking. Okay, everybody. For your speaking skill, uh, in my daring class, English Learning Today, your project as the instruction, please ready, please you are ready with yourself to make a video for practicing the steps how to operate an application with good intonation, good pronunciation, and don't forget to say your name first. You may choose free for the topic as the subject that will be as a media for practicing your English. Finally, you have to collect your project via Google Classroom. Practice your speaking to do an English communicative for this activity. Number one, you may decide where will you go to find the place. Number two, you may record to practice your speaking, then collect your assignment for the next meeting. Or number three, you may do it by working from home for starting to practice your speaking. Okay, today I have explained the topic is about how to operate computer applications. I have tell the goals of learning first. Yeah, that there are four goals of learning as the competence indicators and skills. Okay. At the end of learning, okay, the goals of learning, the students are expected to be able to tell the expressions to operate computer applications. Okay, is there is there anyone uh, still remember what are the example expressions to operate computer application? Yes, firstly, the first, second. The next, and then, after that, finally, good. Okay, and then, the goals of learning number two. Okay, the students are expected to be able to explain the steps to operate an application. Okay, yeah, uh, I have given to you uh, some projects. So that you can explain the steps to operate an application based on the topic uh, 
that will be chosen by you yeah or you may choose free the topic as a media for practicing your english okay and then the third goals of learning the students are expected to be able to do communicative activities yeah uh, based on your projects uh, i hope that you are expected to be able to do communicative activities so that uh, your English will be uh, better significantly. Yeah. So let us do more active for communicative activities for practicing your English every meeting. Yeah. Okay. And then at the end of learning. Uh, the goals of learning the students are expected to be able to apply the material by spoken poems because we have english class so i think it will be better if i invite you to apply the materials by spoken poems yeah okay Yeah. Okay. I think just enough for today. Yeah. I have explained to you as the topic for today. That's about how to operate computer applications. So thank you for your tireless dedication as my students during this challenging time to make sure that. Uh, during class keep running to make sure that my students keep learning and to make sure that you are all doing the right thing in the class by coming here today by joining my class english today to learn more you are all a hero and our nation always see you thank you so much see you and bye